Wagwa, my lovely taquitas, welcome back to my channel. I want to thank you for your support thus far. And if you're just joining me, hello there. What are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button if free. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, don't be shy. And most importantly, share with all of your wonderful friends and your good up, good up friends them because God love when you share. Mm -hmm. <music> hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here thanks for stopping by i really do appreciate it and i would love it if you could give me a thumbs up leave a comment don't be shy and most importantly subscribe and share with all your wonderful friends now today i'll be making some corned beef pasta and if you want to see how i made this then stick around because why not all right guys so let's get into the ingredients we have two cups of penne pasta you can use whatever pasta you'd like we have seven ounces of corned beef we have a cup of italian cheese medley here we have two small plum tomatoes a sprig of thyme a medium onion some scotch bonnet the scotch bonnet is optional you can omit the spice if you'd like and we have half of a medium size or a large size bell pepper and we have about a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste here we have some salt free all-purpose and some all-purpose with salt and we also have some black pepper I'll leave the measurements in the description box below we have two tablespoons of grated parmesan we have a sprig of thyme a clove of garlic two stalks of scallions we have two chicken bouillon we have two teaspoons of salt a scotch bonnet we have half of a tablespoon each of sweet thai chili and tomato ketchup and we have some scallions for garnish and yeah that's just about it let's begin okay so to the pot we're going to add four cups of water Then we're going to go in with our cubes and salt and our fresh herbs. And we're just going to stir that around. Then we're going to bring it to a boil and add our pasta. Have our water boiling. We're just going to add about a tablespoon of oil just so it doesn't stick. Then we're going to come in with our pasta. We're going to give that a quick stir and we're going to cook it for about two minutes less than the package instruction because we want it al dente. And guys we are back our pasta is looking al dente you want it when it's al dente you want it to still have a little chew in it so we're just going to remove our seasonings Our pasta and allow it to drain and leave back you want to leave back some of the pasta water because we might need it we might not but we might need just a few spoons so now guys time for the fun part we're just going to add two tablespoons of oil I'm using olive oil you can use whatever oil you'd like we're going to go in with our fresh herbs and veggies 
give that a quick stir then we're just going to add a pinch of salt just to bring out the moisture and we're just going to let that sweat for a few minutes about two minutes until they're looking tender and translucent we don't want any color on them we're just sweating them And at this point guys your kitchen should be filled with the tantalizing aroma of these wonderful combination of flavors and now for another fun part we're going to add our pasta to bring that down and you want to kind of saute it a few minutes well not really a few minutes about a minute just to get these flavors combined then you want to make a well in the center you could do it the other way adding the bee first but I prefer it this way and because the beef is already tender we don't want it to be too mushy so we're just going to add the beef to the center because what we really need to do is just to warm it up now we're going to go in with our seasonings our dried seasonings our spices rather we're going to go in with our dried spices Give that a quick stir and this is the point where you might want some of the pasta water so you just give it about two spoons around the edges and stir then we're going to add our sweet Thai chili and our ketchup just a little bit we don't want to overpower it give that a quick stir and then finally we're going to add our scallions for garnish and turn the heat off Then guys we're just going to sprinkle with our grated parmesan just over the top then we add our cheese and everything tastes better with cheese guys everything and that is all she wrote guys if you like this video remember to give me a thumbs up leave a comment come on don't be shy share with all your wonderful friends and most importantly subscribe all right so we're just going to take this up oh look at that look at that guys so beautiful just gonna play that oopsie I think we should add a little bit more cheese, a little bit more parmesan. How about a little sprinkle of black pepper? Mm -hmm. And let's top it off with a little bit more scallions. Let's clean up around the edges. 
And yeah guys, that is all she wrote. If you like this video, remember to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, come on, you can't be shy. And most importantly, share with all your wonderful friends and don't forget to subscribe. So shall we take a bite guys? Let's get a little bit of everything. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, this one is a hit. I mean, we took a rather simple dish and we elevated it to like five star status, no less. Or you can add two more, seven star status. Because, and you see, because we seasoned our water, it allowed those flavors to infuse into the pasta, creating a mind feel of flavors in each bite. And then topped with the added layers of fresh herbs and spices, then the creaminess of the cheese blend. It gives it a velvety and luxurious feel on your tongue. And then pinched with a little heat from the black pepper and the scotch bonnet, then the fresh scallions at the end brightens and ties it all together. Guys, the only thing you need with this is a cold glass of whatever white wine you prefer. As for me, I'm having apple juice, but you do you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>